Good day everybody, this is Peter from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and this playthrough of the Trooper Vanguard we're about to do Fort Rhaegar, my only actual sort of quest that isn't a space mission. So let's jump straight into it. As you saw in the last episode, I haven't actually upgraded any items yet. I'm going to, straight after this, hopefully, with me being level 22. Um, but right now I haven't upgraded anything. So, we go in. And I'm not sure if it's going to downscale me to 18, like at the end of Coruscant. That would kind of make sense. Let's see. Right, where do I go? Do I just get off the ship? And is Sergeant Jaxo here? Or should I have called him? He's in here, lovely. Okay, so Wraith has kidnapped somebody. Well, if it isn't the somebody. man himself, I was hoping Garza would send you to handle this one. I'd have preferred getting together somewhere a bit more private than a hostage situation, but this will just have to do. Tell me what you've learned. <laughs> this is so. This is the same person um, who was in an area of Coruscant. I can't even remember which which one. Um, but kept trying to flirt with us and we were just stone cold. So I'm going to continue with the stone cold. Give me a sit rep, Sergeant. Let's start with the accommodations. Port Raga is privately owned and officially neutral, but Wraith and her pals have taken over behind the scenes. My boys and I managed to tweak the sensors and keep your landing inconspicuous. But as soon as you step out of this hangar, it's party time. Any intel on the Senator? Do you know where Cressul is being held? We do, but there's some bad news on that front. Wraith has Cressul locked up in a hangar at the other end of the station. There's heavy security plus a big bonus, explosives. Not enough bang to trash the station, of course, but plenty to ruin your day if you're in that hangar when they blow. Play it careful in there. All right, understood. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. You got it. I'd say it's time to get out there and get our Senator back. What do you say? Yeah, I wanted to ask about the opposition as well. That was an option earlier. But maybe not. Okay, let's do it. Havoc Squad. Move out. It's just me and you. It's about time. <laughs> See you on the other side, Lieutenant. Havoc Good Squad. Luck. Both of us. Move out. Oh, and the droid. The droid's part of Havoc Squad now, right? Um, okay. So. No, it's not. Not too far. Yeah, I assume I can go through there. Alright. Let's try and stick this way. I bet there's a bonus now as well. Hmm. There is indeed a bonus. Be the treacherous Republic forces, and that was only one. Why did that only count as one? Oh, we were right, by the way. It's um, it has downscaled to 18, and these guys are 16. So, Wowzers. defeat the treacherous Republic forces. Why is it only one of 15? Hmm. Wow, they died. Super fast. Well, I guess that solo one that I just killed just wasn't a treacherous Republic force. Um. Yeah, so that probably won't count. Will these count? Yeah, these will count. Oh, that's an Imperial Commando, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Hey, guys. Ow. Six of 15. I wonder if there's um, more in the next room. I'm going to go ahead and assume there are. Wow, it didn't show the animation for the explosion there, but I did use it. I'm pretty sure that's what killed them. It did a lot of damage. Nice. Wow. Harry, that was a lot of damage too. 
Okay, so it really looks like it's only in this area. Hmm. Don't think I like that. Alright, so I'm going to go through to the next part because I'm pretty sure like these Imperials don't count and that's all that's left it looks like. So let's go through here. I'll assume there's some more. There you go, there's one. Oh, that was silly. Oh wow, can I move while doing that? How have I not done that before? Alright, did I complete that bonus quest? <laughs> I'm going to have to watch the video back. Because I'm pretty sure I was only on 11. And then for some reason it just disappeared. Hmm. Okay, we'll consider it done anyway. That's fine. Oh, do you mean the the quest shows the top right here? It, it normally does, yeah, but I thought when you complete a bonus, it normally like flashes up to say that you've completed it. Oh no, that's only your multi-part ones, I guess, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, okay, maybe. Oh no, you mean it says up here? Oh, yeah, complete a bonus mission, wow. Thank you very much, Antraxon. That was some good advice. I'm glad I've got that setting. Although it's probably a bit useless. I should probably get rid of it. <laughs> nice. I'm clearing out this room before talking to him. I think that's a safe idea. Ouch. There we go. And is he sat on explosives? Cool. Who the... Oh, you. I should have known Garza would try to keep all of this inside our twisted little family. Well, don't just stand there. You know how to defuse bombs, don't you? <laughs> Ray said they'll explode if I leave the room. She has a remote detonator too, so be quick. Stay calm. Don't worry, sir. I'm going to get you out of here. I am not a child to be comforted, Lieutenant. That traitor was going to force me to go on record, saying the Senate officially abandoned Havoc Squad on Endo Prime. Well, it's kind of true. Um, he wanted to record you? Do you have any idea what the recording was for? Is it not obvious? Do you realize what will happen if this situation goes public? The Senate would be a firestorm. All of our judgments publicly called into question. And General Garza and Spec Force Division would be the first to burn. Well, that's not fair. This is the Senate's fault, not Spec Forces. <laughs> the Senate has done its duty. Garza's recklessness would reignite a war that the Republic cannot win. I'll admit, I'd like to see the look on that traitor's face when all of her bombs suddenly shut down. To watch that coward scurry away into the shadows when she realizes that her plans have failed would be priceless. Um, how's she going to know? Rescuing you will reveal my presence to Wraith. Surely Wraith's remote will tell her if the bombs are no longer working. Then she'll flee like the coward she is. Um, I'll catch her eventually. She won't escape me for long. I should hope not. Now get to work on those bombs. Wow, he's, he's so rude. I will help because I'm all a dutiful trooper and all that, but... Right, the bomb's armed with redundant triggering mechanisms, including a weight sensor on the senator's chair, an antenna for remote de destination, and a heated gas switch. I hope I'm not supposed to know what that means. All 
Right, any of the triggers can detonate the bomb, and they all seem resistant to tampering. However, if the room's atmospheric controls could be used to create a temporary vacuum, the gas switch might fail without causing detonation. Ooh, that sounds pretty dangerous. So I'm going to... Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go go along with what it says. So seal the, the chamber. Okay. Chamber sealed. And activate the atmospheric evacuation system. But I'm still in here. Okay, detonate the remote detonator. <laughs> or disconnect the remote detonator. That sounds more like it. We're done. Uh, disconnect pressure, okay. And talk. Is it safe now? Or are all of the bombs shut down? Uh, yes, sir. We're good to go, Senator. Good. Get on with it, Lieutenant. We still got to get out of this disgusting place. Go on, lead the way. Like the kind, of, the guide to what you're meant to do said create a vacuum. It didn't say just lower the air pressure a little bit. And those two are very different things. Um. All right. So yeah, I can just take him out now. And Trexen, I've turned off the option that shows light and dark side points because I wanted to just play it without that sort of idea in mind. It was a a viewer's suggestion to do it as well and i honestly think it's it's playing slightly better without them like you just you role play your character rather than chasing points um, and i quite like it good Ooh, that wasn't open before was it hmm okay so i'm heading back to the exit or the entrance sorry i knew he was gonna do that Okay, is this where Wraith comes out and kills Jaxo? Well, look what we've got here, boys. Welcome to safety, Senator. Who in the blazes are you? Mercenaries? This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah. General Garza hires mercs to rescue Republic Senators all the time. <laughs> Alright, so I should probably slap her down a little bit. Yeah, because I'm I should be. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing I can really say. All right, yeah, lose the attitude, Jackso. This is a senator of the Republic, Sergeant. Show some respect. Sorry, Lieutenant. So you rescued our charming friend here, obviously. Nice work. Any luck taking down Wraith? Oh, unfortunately, no. She fled the scene before I could confront her. Wraith must be even better than they say. We were watching every inch of this place. Nobody saw her leave. Is someone going to get me a ship to Coruscant anytime soon? <laughs> oh, don't worry, your honorable, eminent senatorness. You're catching a ride with us. Much obliged, or you're the best. Oh yeah, much obliged. Thanks for taking care of everything, Sergeant. No problem at all. Besides, we're going to have a fun time together, aren't we, Senator? <laughs> yes, delightful. Hey, I know you need to contact Garza and report in, but you should come back to my place on Coruscant sometime soon. We'll have a little victory celebration. Just the two of us. What do you say? Stop it. No. <laughs> Not going to happen, Sergeant. <laughs> ah, you're no fun. Uh, to yourself. So long. Brilliant. It's because her eyes are so dark. She looks like an evil person. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Use your ship's holder terminal. All right, that's this way. Can I mount? No, nah, that's a shame. All right, while I'm away back, though, thank you, Antraxon and Pizza the Hut. For the follows, welcome to the crew. Uh, your father's been playing since the 4th of May, he's level 30-ish. That's cool, yeah. I've, um, I don't know how many hours I've put into this so far. 
be this far. But it's all on YouTube if you want to watch it. It's only maybe like four or five hours or something. We get to level 20-ish, that's fine. Okay. Right, hand this in. Lieutenant, I was just speaking with Sergeant Jackso. Congratulations. Saving Senator Krasel will certainly help our affairs with the Senate. We needed someone to owe us a favor. Well done. Thank you, General. I just did my job. You've accomplished something very important. Something beyond even your assignment to hunt down Tavis and the other traitors. You are in the field, Lieutenant. You see how far the Empire is reaching. A full attack isn't far off now. To keep the Empire's forces at bay, we need the Senate support. We need allies. Allies are good. I'm glad I could help out the cause. Yes, you've done quite well in that regard. One thing, Lieutenant. I was disappointed to learn of Wraith's escape. She's capable of causing great turmoil. There was nothing I could do. I, li I literally didn't see her. Catching Wraith would have meant leaving Krasul to die. Yeah. Then you probably made the best choice. The Senator is certainly more useful alive than dead. Now, our technicians have decoded the first two sets of data from the Coruscant Relay. Your first two targets are Taris and Nar Shaddaa. Yeah. Copy that. Taris and Nar Shaddaa. I'll move out right away. Good luck, Garza out. The Taris is only up to level 20 and Nar Shaddaa is up to level 24, so I'm nearly already 22 now. There you go, 22. So jumping way ahead of the storyline. So yeah, I can... Well, I'll have another think about it at the time, obviously, but I'll, I'll probably be able to just do storyline um, on those planets. Just do the class storyline, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm going back to the Republic Fleet because I want to buy those um, things now. Those mods. All right, a few questions, sorry. Um, he only plays on May the 4th, okay. <laughs> He makes a special exception for Star Wars Day. I like it. May the Force be with him, I guess. Um, and is this my first character? No, it's not. I played a long, long time ago. This is my first recent character, I guess. But I have got a couple of max level characters on a pay-for account. This is just a completely free-to-play account playing through every single class for a YouTube series. Da, da, da. One of the one of the main reasons to do it is to um, see the kind of free to play model that Star Wars: The Old Republic has gone for, and compare it to other possible free to play models. See how it compares. So far, it's very restricting. I, I think that's fair to say. Um, all right, so wow, level twenty-two. About to buy a lot more gear. I may even buy more than the ones that I've just just purchased. If I can afford them, actually, how much reach are these? Oh, super cheap! Awesome. All right, so. Let's replace the armoring mod enhancement. Armoring mod enhancement. Uh, armoring mod enhancement, and then barrel mod enhancement. Easy. Absolutely easy. So, control right click shows that I got mastering endurance armoring. more mastery than endurance so this one so i need three of them yes <laughs> yes i'm sure there's a way to buy multiple ones but that's fine um then there was a mod uh, which is a lethal mod five so this will be 
Mastery Endurance Power. Mastery Endurance Power. Yeah, I want the lowest endurance, more power. Yeah, definitely. All right. So I actually want four of these. Then Enhancement. So this one was just Adept Enhancement 5. So again, I'm assuming... Yeah, I say so. High crit rating, endurance, and power. Yep, that's good for me. One, two, three, four, and then a barrel. What barrels this guy got on? Versatile. Yeah, high mastery. That one's got slightly higher endurance. So I just want the mastery. No room. Um. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, let's put these in first. No, did I really just sell that back? Um, what was it again? Armoring. Versatile armoring, right? Yes. Purchase, right. Then you. And you. Hmm. There we go. What a beautiful piece of gear that now is. All right, and then I'll do this one too. I might have to go and look for some dies now. All right, and then I just wanted the barrel, didn't I? Replace this. Were there no blues that I could have bought? Hmm. Didn't even think of that. I guess not, though. And enhancement. Warning, because the previous medication was not removed from this slot. It's about to be destroyed. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Go away. And then last one, right? Oh, no, wrong thing. That one. It's like doubling the stats that I'm getting in these. Man, that's beautiful. Yeah, so that is what it um is what I had on before. You can see a massive difference there. Massive difference. That is so good. And money wise, I definitely have enough to buy more of that set. So let's have a look prices this side of the galaxy you check you do whatever okay so i might as well it wasn't the black guard sorry i nearly bought the wrong one colossus right so i might as well buy the belt just make sure i don't double up on anything so i've got head chest and legs right easy easy so i might as well buy the belt boots braces and gloves and that's it, right? Oh no. Yeah, I've definitely got the best one here. Appreciate your business. Alright, so I need a bunch of new stuff again. Look at me though. So beautiful. All right. Um, level 22 modifications again. Right. Let's start from the right side. Armory mod enhancement again. Oh, actually, let's just do them all. Armory mod enhancement, armory mod, armory mod, and armory mod enhancement. So, thing one. Can I shift click or control click or. No. All right. Two, three. Four. Um, and then I'll get do, 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 some mods. That one. Let's just get two of these. Now I can fully do this. Ah, 
and the belt. Oh no, I didn't do it. Oh man, I haven't made that mistake with anything else and just not noticed, have I? That wouldn't surprise me. Awesome. I'm going to have to look at some dyes next, aren't I? Alright, let's get two mods. Um, and equip these. Then two enhancements. And it was Adept, right? Alright. Um, this one. Enhancement, apply. And then the boots. I didn't complete this one, so that's why I've got the extra. That's fine. Oh no, wrong thing. Oh, alright, it worked. Okay. Whew. There you go. Wow. All fully equipped and stats wise, I must be way ahead of where you're supposed to be at this point, surely? Like if I was just going on, on gear that I'd bought, or no, gear that I'd had drop for me, then I'd be like half as strong as I am now. And I assume that's what a lot of people do, Take right? Look at the stock. What can I get you? Sell all this rubbish. I do kind of want to get a new weapon. Can I do that? Are these just armor? No, well, there's lightsabers. Saber staff. Are there more weapons? Probably going to miss the icon now, aren't I? Is there one that goes with the Colossus set? Ooh. No, I can't use any of those. There's the Colossus set. And a trainee's blaster rifle. Really? I don't want a trainee's blaster rifle. Is that the only one? Hmm. All right. Appreciate your business. I'll go without that. I like the look of mine anyway. Cool. So that's me all geared up. That is Port Raga all done. And now we're ready to go on to Taris and Narshadar. I think in the next sort of group of episodes, I'll probably do um, Hammer Station, solo Hammer Station. And after that, as quick a run as I can possibly do through Taris and Narshadar, just doing the class quests. That's my plan right now. I hope you like that plan. Um, please join me if you do but thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed hope you are enjoying and hope you will enjoy but by far the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of star wars the old republic